Hey everyone, welcome to a weekly reading vlog, or well, it's not really weekly, it's kind of like a random reading vlog. It is Tuesday the 28th, so it's like a day after the reading rush has ended. I wasn't initially going to vlog, but the thing is, I have been reading more, because there were some books that I just didn't get to for the reading rush that I still wanted to read, so I figured I could just start a little mini vlog for the end of the month, so this will probably only run until Thursday, because that's when... Oh, I didn't write my calendar. <laughs> Thursday, Friday? I can't remember what day the month ends on. It'll only be for the rest of July, just to kind of be able to do the things that I didn't get to do this month because I still need to like plan out my bullet journal. I really wanted to be able to get that stuff up or at least done before the end of the month. I still needed to read a couple of books and I also needed to still draw in my bullet journal the like quote page that I had asked you guys to comment on in my bullet journal video. So we're gonna look at that in a moment but first I still need to finish editing my last reading rush vlog because yesterday I crashed. I full-on crashed. I just stayed up the entire night the night before. I didn't get to sleep at all and I thought I would be able to stay up all day but then at around like 3 4 p.m. I just knocked out and then um, I woke up for a little bit, went back to sleep. Today I had like a work meeting and everything, so I've been up, but I also had like an appointment, so I just didn't get to do the stuff that I needed to do. And I also still need to film and edit another video that I wanna get up by the end of the month. <sighs> Recent reads video, actually. So um, yeah, there's a few things to get done today, but I'm excited. I also am really, really excited. Adam and I are going to dinner tonight, which I'm really, really excited about. But I also, I have such mixed feelings because this is, like a dinner that we wanted to go to for our anniversary earlier in the year and our anniversary was in April and obviously that's when like we were like very very mid-pandemic still are mid-pandemic but we were going to just wait until this all kind of blew over a little bit but it's not obviously blowing over and it's not going to anytime soon I'm pretty sure so we're going to dinner at like this like steak house kind of place and I just again I have mixed feelings just because like I feel really guilty going out to a restaurant to eat in general during a pandemic but I am really 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 craving a garlic filet steak and I really want to be able to celebrate our anniversary and even if it's like four months later and I just feel like after my birthday we're not going to do it so we're just gonna be as safe as possible and I know that the restaurant is following a lot of like strict guidelines and we made our reservation and everything ahead of time so I'm excited I'm trying to just be excited about it but I also feel bad <laughs> so yeah I mean that's just like the kind of reality of what we're living in right now. To say all that, I definitely have to finish all my things kind of earlier because our reservation is at 8.30 and it's already at four. So yeah, I'm going to get to editing my vlog the moment that that's kind of done and posted. I'll be able to film, edit that really quickly and maybe get to reading. Let me tell you what I was reading actually. So I picked back up a Court of Mist and Fury yesterday just because I wanted to like unwind and I was so close to the end with it and I finished it off yesterday. It was honestly exactly what I needed right after the readathon. I just felt so happy. So today I actually picked up A Court of Wings and Ruin because I had been doing a general reread of the series and I've never gotten to A Court of Wings and Ruin. I've never reread A Court of Wings and Ruin. So I'm starting it, I started it earlier today. I only got like 13 pages in or so, but I'm actually kind of excited about it even though it was my least favorite in the series. Besides that, I want to hopefully read the rest of Orange. I just want to like finish that one off. I want to read Check Please and I want to get more progress done on Dark Dawn and maybe read Uzumaki because I've been really craving Uzumaki but I just like want to be able to give it my full attention. So that's the reading plans. Let's let's get to editing because my camera's gonna die anyways. Beep. Oop. So hey everyone it is to Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday my dudes. I had a really jam-packed day today. Well I mean I woke up pretty early and I had like a work meeting and stuff like that but I actually took a nap and then I had to kind of rush out the door because I had a doctor's appointment and I just kind of ran a few errands around because it was like on the opposite side of town and it's really cool. So my dad when he was here last he actually got me a knife because that's what my dad does. He buys me knives and tools. That's just that's what it, that's his thing. And he got it like engraved and look how cool this looks. It's Bubba. <laughs> I love that like the little ridges on the knife actually look like his fur. 
that's so freaking cool when he got me the knife he was like i'm gonna get it engraved what do you want on it and i was like you don't have to get it engraved that's unnecessary and he's like no i want to and so, yeah it was pretty obvious for me to get bubba <laughs> i picked this up today and it's really freaking cool so i'm really happy with that and I'm probably just gonna like hang it up for decoration or something i mean not that it doesn't have a sharp edge but like am i ever gonna like want to use that to like open up a package no it's bubba since then i was going to unbox my fairy loot and owl crate boxes but i actually just got my other owl crate in the mail so now i have two boxes of each so i'm going to probably have like a big ol unboxing for that and i want to do it tomorrow i think because i want like daylight even though this room barely gets any daylight but still right now I'm actually working on my regular journal you guys don't get to see this one that much or ever really but I am doing for both my journals like a constellation style theme this one I took this like design from a journaler called plant-based bride she did also a constellation theme I had already been planning on doing it and then I saw hers and I was like damn that's pretty cool too, because she was doing it like slightly different than I would have imagined. I did it with watercolor, but I think I like how this page looks way better because I did it with acrylic. And yeah, this is kind of like all you'll see for it, but this is my title page. I still have to like draw in here and like write in August and stuff. But since I'm doing like the same kind of theme in both my journals, I decided to start on this one today. So my camera, the battery was low and I was trying to get like all that in before the battery died, but I didn't. But this is going to just be like my title page and I haven't really finished it up yet, but I wanted to start on it tonight just to kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be doing in my reading journal. I am once again switching some things up for my reading journal because I just, I've just been trying to find what works and to be fair last month I definitely think that I used it a lot more than I have been using it this whole year so I'm really happy with that so like the things I'm changing aren't like huge I'm just like almost adding things to it I'm really excited about both these journal spreads because I've been like trying out new things and I have like a better idea of how I want to set things up and it is my birthday month which is why I've been wanting to do like a constellation or galaxy inspired theme all year I've just been craving like stars even last month I actually did do like a space kind of theme in my regular journal. I knew that I was saving like my full out like stars constellations theme for my birthday month and it's finally here and I'm really excited to get started on it. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I also like I just want to talk about the quote because I'm so happy. I'm saving all of like my star bookish quotes for my reading journal but that means that I get to kind of like explore other star quotes for my regular journal and this one just really ring out to me because I've always been like a night owl I've always loved the nighttime and I've never had that fear I suppose of the dark and this quote really felt like it resonated because of that and it says I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night and I think that the original quote I mean that might be the original way it said but I thought it had been I have loved the stars too fondly to ever fear the night because I don't know but I just love that because it's true. I love the stars. I love the night. I love darkness. <laughs> and then I think that Adam and I are going to watch Hamilton. I actually haven't seen it before, so I'm really excited. After that, I think I'll probably end up reading some of A Court of Wings and Ruin. I have again just been kind of delving into my reread recently and I'm on page 70. I'm enjoying this a lot more the second time around than I did the first time. I don't know if it's just because I'm feeling nostalgic or I'm just like in a good reading mood. I, I don't know, it's one of those. I don't know if I'm going to be picking anything else up this weekly vlog just because I'm enjoying this a lot and I don't really wanna force myself to stop reading it to read other things. Like I am really just happy that I finally want to read again and even though it's Sarah J Mass and it's a reread, I'm happy with it. So, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I'm kinda sleepy already. I can't wait to watch Hamilton. So I heard a rustling. <laughs> And it's Luna in her little box. You like your box bug? I've literally been unable to get rid of that box ever since I opened up my Chain of Gold book because Luna loves it so much. But she doesn't normally get in. She normally just lays on the flap. You are freaking precious. The sweetest thing in this world. Thank you for being you. Um, excuse you, sir. Hello. <sighs> Got a Bella. Got a Bella. You opened up the door. <gasps> so cute. Is there a cat blocking the door again? I'll help you out. I know, I know. It happens. Hi, Cha Cha. <laughs> Did 
Did you not realize I was holding him? <laughs> she like ran. <laughs> Chala, what do you want to do? Animals. Okay. It's Thursday. Yeah. Um, I have had a nice chill morning. I really want to place an order. I haven't like bought myself fun things lately. And by fun, I mean like clothes or makeup skincare well even books really but that wasn't what i was planning on ordering <laughs> and i wanted to place an order soon to like get some fun stuff to like treat myself a little bit i was doing that kind of all morning getting a video up i was getting ready right now though i wanted to check in before i do my unboxings because i still want to do my fairy loot and owl card unboxings today that's why i got all cute and then i think i want to work on my bullet journal a lot today i just have like a lot of planning to do and i feel like when my bullet journal spread isn't done for the next month i can't like properly plan when it's the week before that month i mean technically at the end of this week it is next oh my god next month guys guess whose birthday is next month it's me and I'm in denial about it so yeah uh i just wanted to check in say hi let's tell you where I'm at in a quarter of wings and ruin. I don't know why I said it with that accent. It was really bad too. Chapter 11, page 99. And look how cute my bookmark. These were like the set of three bookmarks that came in the A Court of Thorns yeah. and Roses box hangover recovery no. kit. No. That was the first time she's pooped in the house in like since the last For a time. while, yeah. Since she pooped here. Okay. Did I leave it recording? Oh, I did. Yikes. What was I saying? Oh yeah, look at my bookmark. So this is the one that came in the Fay Crate Hangover Recovery Style Kit that they did for just a Court of Thorns and Roses. I was gonna say A Court of Thorns and Ruin. <laughs> and there's like a set of three. And I don't think I ever showed these actually because... It was like when I wasn't filming that much, but it's basically like the drawers. If you read A Court of Thorns and Roses, you know that the three drawers that Feyre paints. She has stars for her own drawers. She has flowers for Elaine and fire for Nesta. And this isn't a spoiler. This is like way in the beginning of the book. So it has the drawers on one side and then it has three of the creatures on the other side. So I don't want to say more about the creatures because that is more of a spoiler. But I love obviously this one. Look at me not using a receipt. So yeah, um, I'm gonna probably set up my filming area and start filming my unboxings because I feel like that's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna try and make it a little bit shorter. Hello, tall boy. Come on, Slinky. <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> so, okay, bye. This update's way too long already. Getting that video filmed was a test of patience. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there was four boxes, but also like my camera ran out of battery twice and then the storage filled and it was just, it was a time. And my cats were crying <sighs> and I still have to like do the little clips, like the up close clips. So I guess I'm gonna do that right now. Put on like a YouTube video. Yeah, and then we'll go from there. I still have to finish editing a video. <laughs> Bella, um, the puppy, she followed me into, well, she's fully grown, but she followed me into the book room and now Chala's at the door, and she's like... <laughs> hey, Chacha. Look at this, like, hot mess express on my ground, by the way, guys. I'm trying not to, like, flash you all the stuff that was in the box, just in case. Still have to finish editing um, a video that I want to get posted for tomorrow, my Reading Rush vlog. I'm gonna take it easy tonight. Maybe, like, do a little bit more journaling? Maybe? We don't know? What do you think, Bella? Do you have a lot to say? Oh. You are freaking precious. Cutie pie. She's staring right at Chala. My beastie. Oh, wow, that was very delicate. <laughs> Bye, Bella. They're so close to being friends. But not quite.
Okay, so um, last night I put in a clip of me taking literally a million years to apply this contact paper. First, let's start. You might have noticed the desks were a little bit different. I had been wanting to shift them around because I just wasn't happy with how I had initially put them in the room. The reason that my book room has moved around because I've had a lot of questions about it and like asking if we're gonna get a room tour or a book room tour anytime soon because you've noticed changes. As I've said a lot of times, I've actually been <laughs> making over our bedroom. Uh, that's actually a video that will go up, <laughs> but it'll go up on my other channel. So whenever that channel gets made and whenever I get to editing the video and whenever I finish. So the reason that my book room has been shifted around was because one of the desks that we had in our bedroom was no longer necessary. I wanted to add it into my book room to kind of add like some extra storage area because all my journaling supplies were not close to me and so I was finding myself like not using the full extent of my supplies. So that's why it got added in but I hadn't like actually organized everything because it's been hectic guys. <laughs> it's been crazy trying just to get like my room to the way that I want it and I didn't want to just like be doing too much rearranging in this room while I was doing that. And then the reading rush happened and then this week I finally was able to kind of rearrange the desk to a state that I like more. I'm still not sure if this is the final evolution. One day you guys will get a book room tour but when I feel like it's more done because it's still very undone, I'll give you like a brief overview maybe in like my next vlog. But one of the things that I ended up getting for our bedroom was this like grayish wood contact paper. And I was applying it like, well, I mean, you guys will see when that video goes up. Hopefully it should be in the next month. <laughs> I don't want it to be the first video, that's why. But I actually had a ton left over, which was really, really cool because I have been wanting to do something with my white Ikea desk ever since I dropped a frame on it and like, got an indent in it. I don't know if you guys remember that vlog. I've just been like unhappy with the aesthetic of it and I just don't also like the white background for my journaling videos. I finally decided though to add on the gray contact paper and I think it looks so good in this room but I don't know why it took me so long to do that last night. Literally every single time I used a ton in our room and Every time I did it in there, it was so easy. The process was so simple. There were no bubbles. It literally just went on within like under five minutes and I did multiple surfaces. I don't know if this is like because this is the largest surface I did. I was gonna split it up into strips, but then I was like, no, that might look dumb. I wish I had now. I ended up getting a ton of tiny air bubbles, but I've been like popping them with safety pins and then I'm going to go in with a hairdryer because hair dryers kind of like shrink the plastic and I wanna see if that'll help because there's like tens of tiny little holes now. And since it's such a textured contact paper, like it looks not like paper, it, you can kind of see the safety pin holes even though the bubbles are gone, so yeah. But I wanted to put the contact paper on before I did my journaling video for this month because I want this to like be my new journaling background, obviously. So yesterday when I was going to get ready to do my journaling video, I was like, oh shoot, I have to do the contact paper, which is what I filmed. <laughs> and then it ended up taking like an hour and a half. I don't. <laughs> I wish I could explain, I can't, but I am really happy that with the results. So today is officially August 1st, the start of my birthday month. It's actually going to be a really fun day. I planned for fun. I feel like I'm the only person that has to plan for fun or else I'll work through it. But I, uh, we have a couple of our friends over and we're just gonna be at, like, at our pool, which we have in the backyard, which I have not used yet. And I've lived here for four months. So I don't really have anything planned booktube wise today. If uh, I have energy by the end of the day, then I do want to try and get my reading journal done because uh, it's obviously the first and I want to be able to use them. I mean, as far as reading goes for this vlog, <laughs> obviously I didn't read. Uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to extend this just until the end of the week because there really are, there's literally two days. It's basically the last bit of July and a tiny bit of August. And that way we can actually do my bullet journal like quote page because I haven't really gotten to do that either. I filmed this entire clip expecting this to be the end and now it's not. Well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I've still just been reading A Court of Mist and Fury because, not A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin because I am trash and I love it. I haven't been in the mood to unwind by reading in so long. Like, I don't know if this is the end of my reading slump. I really don't want to say it is just because, I mean, right now all I'm doing is reading Sarah J Mass and 
while it is reading and while I'm having fun, it is just something that I always love reading. So I'm not saying this is the end of my reading slump, but I think that we're getting there because I'm in the mood to physically read again. And that is what I wanted to get to. Like that is what I really, really wanted from the reading rush is to like physically read and enjoy it. Physically reading is always going to be my preferred way of reading. You guys know I love audiobooks. I love audiobooks because I can multitask. I can't uh, do my makeup and physically read. Maybe some people can, I am not that talented. I can't like drive and physically read. I used to when I was in high school, before I really knew about audiobooks. Was it safe? No. Did I only do it at stoplights? Yes, <laughs> but I mean still. So I do love audiobooks, but the thing is physically reading like the voices and the scenery and the characters themselves are just so much clearer in my mind. I know that I absorb the information a hundred times better because the thing about audiobooks that's strange is even though I get a really solid plot, the characters are what completely go out of my mind and characters are basically what I focus on when I physically read. I like make a very clear image of them in my head, I make a clear sound of their voice in my head and I remember their names which is something that's cool. While in audiobooks I tend to have a really hard time with physical descriptions and with names. I just it does not absorb. I get the plot perfectly like honestly really really well. World building falls somewhere in the middle and then the character though I don't even remember them. Like I mean I do but like a very vague image of them and it's probably because when I'm reading physical descriptions I always take a pause. I sit there and I think about it and I try and like make the character up in my head while with an audiobook I'm not gonna pause it right when they just told me the physical description especially because I can't I'm not gonna just re-listen to it over and over and over again to get that image in my head. So physically reading wins. Look at my desk. I love it. Like guys. It looks so good. So yeah I'm just gonna actually upload my video right. <laughs> that took me a full two hours and I don't know why. So I'm gonna go join my friends now. Don't know if I'll be updating again.